What's up, everybody? Welcome to Parks' Rant, episode number 61. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, 2018. What's going on? How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. I know I haven't done an episode in, fuck, over a month. But guess what? Remember in the last episode, I believe, if I recall, I can't remember. I think I have my notes here for my last episode. I'm not even, I'm doing this episode without fucking notes, okay? So let me, like, just point that out. I got no notes. I didn't prepare for this shit at all because I'm hoping I can just run it out of my head. But basically, in the last episode, I recall that I just explained how the year was in a fucking shitbox run right out of the gate. And as of right now, it's still pretty fucking shitty. Um, there have been some good points, but, you know, let's start with the fucking crappy stuff. Because, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to fucking bitch about the stupid shit that's been going on this year, and it's fucking irritating me. And that's why, of course, I got Miss Whiskey. No Coke. It's just the fucking whiskey. I just got whiskey there. I ran a fucking soda. I drank it all over the weekend with my buddy John, so we got shit housed. Mmm. Mmm, 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 Ah, delicious. All right, so where do we begin? Let's see. Well, I'm just going to kind of like shoot off of what I can remember what I did talk about or not lately. So since I believe I talked to you guys, since then I did my first Spartan race of the year. So I guess I'm not starting off on the shitty hand, but I did my first Spartan race of the year. We did the uh, Spartan Super in Chino. And, uh, you know, we ran that race. It was pretty cool. Uh, most of my team did uh, both days. Did the They did the Super on Saturday and then the Sprint on Sunday. So I did not do the Sprint. Uh, I'm going to be doing my Sprint here in a few weeks at a different location. So uh, my girlfriend did her first race. Uh, she did the Super. She just jumped right into it. So after all that fucking bitching, I believe I told you guys about how she was just fucking nagging. I don't think I'm going to make it. You need to help me. I can't believe you think I can't do it. All that stupid shit I had to fucking listen to for I don't know how many fucking months. It was super goddamn annoying and I'm fucking glad it's over. Because she did it. She got fucking through it. She needed help on some of it, but that was a given. We already knew that crap. But she did it. She fucking did most of the shit on her own. And bam. It's like all that fucking whining for nothing. And she fucking did it. And now we're going to have another race coming up. And of course she's fucking panicking on that one too. Even though it's going to be a shorter race. And it's like. You know. What the fuck. Why are you whining? Why are you fucking whining? You did it once. You can do it again. Stop whining. And you've been working out since then. So you should be even. that just a tad bit better. You know, I mean, her running isn't the best. She's not the fucking fastest, but, you know, she can do it. So, why the fuck is she whining? So, we did finish. I did get my medal. I don't think you can see it. Can you see it out of the fucking corner? So, it's like... I just point to it. Why the fuck? I'm, like, trying to go on my screen. Like, it's fucking right there. Because, like, you know, it's reversed. So, if I'm actually pointing at it on the screen, it's right there. It's fucking stupid. Like, I can't take it off of here because I got it. But, can you see it? Barely. But it's hanging up there. I'll show you guys later after I get my next medal. I'll take them off and I'll show you both of them. And be like, oh, look at me. I got that shit. So that was one good thing that happened. But as far as the shit show stuff that's been happening, I mean, it just keeps fucking coming. Uh, fuck, did I tell you guys about how my fucking truck broke down and all that shit? I don't even remember. I don't fucking remember. What the hell did I talk about last time? I don't fucking know. Anyway, so, yeah, my truck took a shit. In case I didn't tell you guys that crap last time, it fucking crapped out. My uh, radiator ended up having a crack in it, so I had to fucking replace that shit. And that was a fucking nightmare because once I got the new one back in, you know, you try plugging all these fucking hoses, and then you realize whoever owned it before you, like, get a rigged half the shit, so it fucking sucked. And then all these new leaks started popping up, and it was just a fucking nightmare. But eventually I got it fixed. It's handled, and now I just have to do with the fucking oil leak that's coming off the back of the engine, the fucking main seal between the damn engine block and the fucking transmission is fucking leaking. I knew it was leaking from a while, from a while ago, but I just haven't had the money or the time to replace it. So I'll try to get that shit going eventually. Uh, 
I know you guys might be wondering, what the fuck are you wearing? Isn't this the most pimp-ass fucking coat you've ever seen ever? Look at this shit. This shit is fucking fuzzy. God damn it. You can't see dick on here. See, look at this shit. Oh, yeah. This shit is the business right there. Look at this fucking fur. Oh, yeah. That is 100% real fake-ass fur. 100% fake. <laughs> it's really fake. 100% really fake. Um, but lately, because the shit that's burned into my mind the most, these last couple weeks have been complete crap. Um, two weeks ago, I had like a fucking horrid run of epileptic episodes. I was fucking having seizures like nonstop. It was horrible. I had major, uh, you know, grand mal seizures. I was passing out and fucking flopping around. I had minor seizures, which I think they were called petite mal seizures, where... It's like I'm having a seizure, but I'm still awake and conscious, and I still know what's going on, and I'm not, like, fucking convulsing and shit, but, you know, I just, uh, I'd be like that. You know, I'll be mid-sentence, and then I'll just, uh, 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 and it sounds like I'm choking on my tongue or something. It's just, I lose motor control in my mouth, and it's super fucking annoying. So I had a lot of that, and... Even up until now, that was about two weeks ago, I feel like I'm still not fully recovered from it. Uh, that's one reason why I didn't uh, do an episode earlier. Uh, besides the fact that, you know, even a couple weeks before that, I've been busy, you know, with uh, the fucking Spartan race. And then it was my birthday weekend. I'll get into that. And then, you know, then I had the week right after my birthday weekend. It was just fucking full of seizures. Ugh. So, you know, my mind just wasn't there. I couldn't really... Uh, communicate properly i try to come up with uh, words for sentences and you know try to get my thoughts together before i say them you know but it would come out and you know the words just wouldn't be correct it was it's fucking super annoying i'd have to repeat myself because um you know it just wasn't coming out properly i can try to give you an example um i'd be like uh what's an example sentence i'd be like uh for some reason, today I saw a lot of cars just parked on the side of the freeway for no reason. Okay, that's an example sentence of what I'd be trying to say. But I w it would come out like, today, uh, for some reason, I saw a bunch of car parked side freeway for some, for some reason. It would just be a jumbled mess. All the words were there, but it didn't make any fucking sense. And I'd be like, God damn it. And then I'd have to fucking go back. For some reason, there were a bunch of cars parked on the side of the freeway today. You know, something like that. Even now, you could probably still hear it in my voice. I'm still kind of skipping some words or, you know, mispronouncing them. Maybe I'm I'm not enunciating them correctly. But it's getting better. You know, it's starting to come back. I'm feeling better. So that was a shithole thing two weeks ago. And then last week was another fucking nightmare. So, it was one whole fucking week of epileptic problems, and then the week after that, which was last week, it was, my fucking work just decided to bend me over and fuck me in the ass again. I had to pull, th like, a whole shit ton of fucking extra hours, out, and I still wasn't feeling 100%. Um, what happened was, we got a new client, and they dropped four fucking different projects on us. That needed to be done, what they said, immediately. And, well, the, the immediate part of it was I didn't get to start working on them until Tuesday, and they were due Friday. Okay, four projects. Typically, I'm supposed to get about five days, so a whole week of, you know, actual uh, design time per project. It comes in, so if it comes in on Monday, I'll have it done and back to you next Monday. So I got four of these fucking things, started them on Tuesday, had to be done on fucking Friday. So that should have been four weeks worth of work. I had four fucking days. And so what happens? Of course, I have to do the stupid fucking, like, after hour party parade. You know, so it's fucking horseshit, and plus there's other projects that just were fucking piling in on top of that that I had to fucking make corrections to um, that were mostly done, though. But they needed that shit right now. It's like, here it is. I need it in two hours. That kind of bullshit. So, you know, uh, my work schedule was Monday was a pretty normal day as far as work time goes. 
you know, and so I left work at a normal time. I went to the gym. I couldn't work out because I was still feeling like shit from the epilepsy episodes. And then after I went to the fucking gym, you know, my girlfriend and I decided to go to my mom's house because uh, my uncle was over there. My mom's like, come over for dinner. Your uncle's in town for the last day. Uh, and, you know, you can see him before he goes. So I went over there and I was talking to my mom about how they're doing some construction on their house. And I fucking made a comment on why the hell they decided to tear the fucking roof of their house off, you know, three days before, like, one of the biggest fucking rainstorms that we've gotten all year came through. I was like, why the fuck do you guys do that? It makes no damn sense. And then also, why the hell are you guys doing work on your fucking house in the dead of winter? It's stupid. It's just a dumb fucking move. Why don't you wait until springtime or summer where it's, you know, yes, it's hot, but you're not going to have to worry about fucking water coming through your fucking ceiling. It was just, I didn't say it exactly like that. It was more polite, but that was my point. And so my mom's boyfriend, I guess, overheard me say that. So he comes in, he gets in my fucking face like he's about to throw down. He gets up to me and, you know, like he he's pretty damn short compared to me. And no, I've never had a problem with this guy, but apparently this fucking set him off and he got in my face like it was ready to come to blows. And he's like, well, you got a fucking problem? What you, what you, what's going on? I was like, what are you talking about? Because I said a few things and I didn't know exactly what set him off. I, I didn't, I wasn't even aware that it did set him off when I said, I was just like, that's a bad move. You shouldn't have done it. And so I think that's what set him off. I still never got a straight answer out of him. So that was fucking great. And so I was like, you know what? I'm out of here. I ended up eating dinner. I fucking left. I was only there for maybe 30, 45 minutes. And um, the reason my uncle was in town, so I got to see him for a little bit, was we had a family reunion the the Saturday before, so two days before that. And that was weird. It was fucking uncomfortable because it was my mom's side of the family. And this was our first family reunion ever. I was like, they were like, we're doing a family reunion. I'm like, What? It's like, what fucking family? We don't have family. And I go to the damn house. There's, I've never seen so many fucking white people that had my same gene pool ever. I didn't even know there was that many of us. It was fucking weird. I went there. I was like, holy crap. This is a shit ton of crackers. This is fucking out of control. I like, I'm scared of these people because I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. I don't know where they come from. Some of them I could tell were racist as fuck. I just didn't know what to do. And of course, I'm there in my kilt, so I'm just waiting to catch crap. And luckily I didn't, um, but it ended up being an okay thing. It freaked me out a little bit, but it ended up being all right. One reason was because they had fucking margaritas ready to go. A lot of goddamn good food. And, um, I guess he was an uncle from somewhere. Uh, one of my uncles, I guess, whoever's house it was at, he had a shit ton of fucking bomb ass whiskey, fucking bomb. Bomb ass whiskey. He had this one shit. I don't even know what the fuck it was called. I took a picture of it. It's in my phone. But like the seriously, the crap is in a bottle like this like maybe like 20 ounces. It's like a 20 ounce bottle. This shit's like 60 bucks for 20 ounces. So it's not even a full 750 mil bottle or even the you know, 1.75 liter bottle. But holy shit, I got fucking r -r 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 wrecked. Fucking wrecked. It was so damn good. Oh, man, it was fucking some good stuff. So, ended up being all right. Um, and then one thing that was weird driving down there and back was I rode down there with my mom. So, it was my brother, my mom, uh, my mom's boyfriend, and myself. So, my brother and I are sitting in the back seat, And I haven't ridden around in my mom's car in a while. And it's not that she's old, but... You know, I think she's like in her 50s somewhere. So she's not like old, but you can tell she's starting to drive like a fucking old person. She's doing those maneuvers where she's not paying attention to where she needs to exit. So she'd be, you know, fucking in the fast lane. And if you're not from here in like Southern California, some of our freeways are like, you know, each side is like six lanes wide. So she goes from the fucking center lane. She's like, shit, I got to exit here. Fucking... Whoa, just fucking, I'm sitting there like, oh, god damn it. Fucking just cuts across all fucking lanes. I don't know how many people we almost fucking slammed into just to get this fucking exit. She did that shit twice on the way down there. I was like, we're going to fucking die. This is bullshit. What the fuck? So that was super irritating. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. So 
that the the dinner thing happened on Monday, and then Tuesday came around. Got to get back to my work thing. I got to work and I started work at seven thirty in the morning. Okay, <laughs> whatever seven thirty. It's not that. Bad. Well, okay, I get it. Normally I start at you know between seven thirty eight thirty normally. Uh, just whenever I feel like strolling in. So I started at seven thirty, and I ended up working until eleven thirty that night. That's a long fucking day. 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 at night. Long fucking day. So I fucking got done, came home, fucking uh, took a shower. Did I fucking take a shower? I don't know. Anyway, I came home. I probably passed out around 1 a.m. Uh, and then So I passed out, got back up early in the fucking morning, got my ass back to work by 8 a.m., on Wednesday, so I worked 8 a.m. Wednesday, which was Valentine's Day, to 8 p.m. that night. So 12-hour shift. Now I came back home because my girlfriend was going to come over. It was Valentine's Day. I just wanted to spend time with her. I told her, I was like, I've been too fucking busy. I we I didn't get you flowers. I didn't get you fucking chocolates, a card, nothing. Okay? We're not going to dinner. I just don't have the fucking time. I've been at work. I've been at fucking doing shit with the fucking family over the goddamn weekend. And then all last week, I was in fucking epileptic meltdown mode. So I have nothing scheduled. I'll make it up to you later. And that's what I'm actually going to try to do tonight since, you know, this was last week. So tonight, one week after Valentine's Day, I'm going to try to take her out to dinner tonight. She's doing some work right now. She'll probably be here in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to make it up to her. I didn't get her any flowers or anything because every time I get her fucking flowers, they they, they die. Okay? It's not like... You know, some of you are probably thinking, well, no shit, dude. You buy someone roses, they're going to fucking die. You know, they cut them off the bush and then they give them there the, and then you give them away, they die. No. I get her flowers that are in pots that you can take care of and she fucking kills them every time. So she never takes care of them. She gave me... Before we even started dating, so a little over two years ago, she gave me an orchid in a pot, and you know, I she gave it to me like, as a gift for my birthday. I was like, oh cool, you know, this is back before we were like together. I was like, oh cool, that shit is still on my desk at work and it's still fucking living. All right, I still got it. And then this year or this last year for Christmas, she got me a poinsettia plant it's right fucking there still alive i still have it the plants she gives me i take care of them they live the shit i give her she fucking dies so i'm not getting her flowers i'm not getting her fucking chocolates because i'm tired of every fucking two minutes she goes i'm fat what are you i can't believe you're dating me because i'm so fat when she's not okay like she may have a little bit of fucking meat on her, but she's not fucking fat. It's like, dude, it's winter time. Who cares? You know, you're wearing thick clothes anyway. As long as you start burning it off, starting around April or March, then you'd be good. You'd be fine. Don't worry about it. It's only a few pounds you you're you really need to lose anyway. So it's like, whoop de doo. I can't really see it. So it doesn't bother me. I don't care. Nobody else can really tell either. So that's why I'm not getting her chocolates. I want to hear that shit. And so I'm going to take her to dinner tonight. Some place she's always wanted to go. I've been there before. I didn't think it was that good, but whatever. It's for her. You know how it is. So that's what we're going to do. So last week, like I said, I didn't get to do shit for her on Valentine's Day because on that day I worked 12 hours. So 8 to 8. And then, I, uh, you know, she came over. We hung out just for like an hour or so before I ended up crashing out. Um, you know, I got home at like 8.30. I was in bed by 10. So I only got to spend like an hour and a half with her before I passed out. And then uh, Thursday morning, well, first off, she gave me a fucking attitude the whole goddamn time. You know, I keep, you know, just like giving me the cold shoulder. I'm like, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm, I'm just playing my game. I don't, don't want to talk, you know, to that crap. She, like, when we go to bed, she's facing the other way all night. She won't even fucking like talk to me or like give me a hug or any of that shit. Next morning, same goddamn attitude when she fucking goes off to work. So I get back to work. Thursday morning, started at uh, 8 a.m. Thursday morning, got to work, started working on these fucking projects that were just a nightmare to deal with. So I started Thursday morning at 8, and I worked continuously, nonstop, from 8.30 a.m. Thursday to 6.30 p.m. Friday. Okay? Thursday morning to Friday fucking night. 34 and a half 
fucking hours, non-goddamn stop, just so I can meet this fucking deadline because they wouldn't give me extra time for it. And of course, my fucking, the guy who got, brought the projects in, our salesman, I told him, I was like, dude, this is not enough time to work on these. I need you to give me some extra time. Because every time he gives me something, he goes, oh, if you need anything, just let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. Don't you worry. I was like, dude, I need more time. He's like, oh, I can't do that. I can't get you no more time. I'm like, okay, well, can you go get me some fucking Red Bull? Give me like a four pack of Red Bull because I'm going to be here all night and I'm going to need some energy drinks. Oh, I'm not going to buy your junk for you. What do I look like? I'm not going to do that. It's like, you son of a bitch. You're giving me these stupid fucking deadlines to get this shit done. You won't give me more time on it and you won't give me something that's going to help me get the shit fucking done for you. So you can get your stupid like $10,000 fucking commission check, you asshole. So I was like, what the fuck? You know? I'll do anything you, anything you need. I'll do it. Yeah, fuck you. No, you won't, you piece of shit. You won't do fucking dick for me. And guess what? Do I get paid overtime for this shit? Fuck no. I don't get overtime. I'm salary. Did I get a fucking thank you? Hell no. Did I get fucking time off? Fuck that. No, I did not. I got nothing. Not a thank you. Not a fucking good job. Nothing. Okay, I think I did get a good job from one person. The only thing I did get was some guy that works. He's a project manager. He has nothing to do with what I do. But he he's usually the first one in the office in the morning. He walked in Friday morning. He's like, were you here all fucking night again? I was like, yeah. He's like, that, that's fucking bullshit. He's, you know what? He, and he pulls out his wallet. He's like, here's five bucks. Go get yourself a coffee. I was like, dude, thank you. Like, just five bucks for a fucking coffee. I walked across the street and got myself a goddamn coffee just to keep me going. You know, so it was fucking brutal. Like, it was so bad that I didn't even get, like, have time to fucking eat. That's how fucking bad it was. You know, uh, it was Thursday or Tuesday night, since I was working super late, my girlfriend had brought me food. And so I ate at like 8 o'clock Thursday or Tuesday night. And then I fucking work, 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 came home, crashed, you know, woke up uh, on Wednesday morning, Valentine's Day, did all that work, came home. I thought I was like maybe we'd get something for dinner. No, she was in a pissy mood. I was fucking tired, crashed out, didn't eat anything all day Wednesday, fucking Thursday, work, 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 work. And then my girlfriend, I guess, finally calmed down by then and she was like, like, are you still at work? I was like, yeah. She's like, what'd you eat today? I was like, fucking nothing. So she brought me dinner again on Thursday night. So she brought me food Tuesday night. And that was the only thing I fucking ate until she brought me food again Thursday night. Didn't eat anything else. And then I didn't eat anything again until she took me to dinner again Friday night after I was all fucking done. So at least she did some good stuff there, which really fucking helped and I appreciate it. But it was just... It was just a fucking nightmare week. And then I get to work this fucking week and these goddamn projects come back. You know, I send them out. They come back. They're like, oh, we got to make all these fucking changes. I'm like, I thought you guys had to submit them. I thought you had to turn them in. Oh, well, we're making some changes, so we're going to push the deadline back. He's like, you didn't fucking tell me this shit last week when I was working all fucking night, you piece of shit. What the fuck? Go fuck yourself. Complete crap. I was fucking pissed. I'm still fucking pissed because I'm still dealing with this shit. And I have to fucking work on that crap tomorrow. It's fucking donkey ass. Fucking hate this shit. I fucking really do hate my goddamn job. You guys have no fucking idea. I hate who I work for and I hate what I do. Anytime somebody says, oh yeah, go into fucking engineering and construction and all that shit, don't fucking do it. You have to work with the most retarded people ever. Unless you're working for the goddamn architect, you're going to deal with fucking tards 24-7. That's what I feel like I have to deal with. Everyone above me is fucking dumb as shit. Everyone below me is dumb as fucking shit. I just don't understand. I just look at you guys like, how the fuck do you not know how to do this? You guys are like in your fucking 40s and 50s. You can't figure this shit out. You're business owners. Why is it that my fucking dumb ass, I just turned 30, I know all this crap. There's only like one guy I can really respect in my fucking field and it's my, the engineer I work with specifically. Everybody else up above him, next to him, below him, fucking sucking him off are fucking stupid. It's fucking ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Since I've already fucking ranted and we only got five minutes left, let's get to some of the, the very minor good points. Like I just said, I'm 30. 
I just turned 30. My birthday weekend was a couple weeks ago, the weekend before the whole seizure thing went down. And my girlfriend did an awesome thing. She took me out to Las Vegas for my 30th birthday. I was supposed to go out there, hang out with her, all my buddies. We were supposed to have a good time. It was supposed to be awesome. And none of my friends fucking went. They all bailed. So it was just my girlfriend and I. But nonetheless, without it being EDC, it was the most fun I'd had in Vegas ever. Like I said, with the exception of EDC weekends, because that's a whole different scenario. We got to go to Top Golf, play uh, some golf out there. First time playing that, it was super fucking fun. They really, like you know, made a, a, a whole new way to play golf, especially at a driving range, which was just super fun. It's the first time I'd swung a club in a, a few years, and I was actually impressed at how well I was doing. Um, what else did we do? Uh, on the way out there, we stopped at Las Vegas Speed. It's the racetrack they have out there where you can uh, uh, pay and drive these fucking super exotic cars. I did not get to drive one. I just wanted to stop and look at it because we were driving by. I was like, oh, let's go to just just look. And I got to see uh, some guys take out uh, take the Ferraris that they had there around the track, which was super cool. And then I saw the guys that worked there jumping the, the was it the Z06 uh, Corvette Stingray, the new one, and take that bitch out for a lap. And holy fuck, dude, okay, a lot of people think that the Corvette's got no fucking merit, but the new one, dude, dude, it was outrunning the fucking Ferraris around this track, I swear to God, the new fucking Corvette Stingray outran the Ferraris, and t- fucking Italy can fucking suck it, alright, this new vet is out of fucking control, this thing is amazing, I've never seen a car fucking stick to the road that well, ever, ever and it was fucking fast as fuck down the street incredible sounded amazing just so deep and fucking fucking awesome car if you ever get to see one live it's awesome watching on tv just won't do it justice uh what else did we do we went to a, a, a secret speakeasy in vegas uh it's a place where you actually have to text a number to make a reservation you have to find this number send them a text Tell them what time you want to go and how many people are in your group. And it's fucking super cool because you go in through one bar, you walk through one bar to the back of it, and then you stand under this candle that's on the wall, and then there's this secret fucking door in the wall that your hostess comes out and meets you. She takes you inside. She closes the door, locks it behind you so nobody else can come in. Then you go through another door in this private secret bar that's all hidden. There's no windows to outside. It's fucking super awesome. I got to have... The most well-balanced fucking cocktails I've ever had in my life. I've never had a better cocktail ever. We had like four of them. We got fucking wrecked. It was super awesome, super delicious. And we are going back there again next time we go to Vegas. I can't fucking wait. I know it sounds like I'm going kind of fast with this, but, you know, like I said, I'm running out of time. There's just so much shit I wanted to tell you guys. I'll probably have to dump some of it into the next episode. I might break this shit down more. Um... In one of the next episodes. So leave me a comment and fucking remind me because I'll fucking forget if you want to hear it. If not, then go fuck yourself. I don't care. And then the last thing I just want to show you guys real quick. Uh, that was part of my birthday, but it didn't come in until uh, Friday. My girlfriend had got me BAMO! New fucking Utila Kill, boy! Kilt Nation all the way. Look at this thing. It's like my other ones, my fucking workman model. This thing is the rust orange and black fucking combo. It's beautiful and it's fucking boss as fuck. This is probably my most favorite one I've gotten so far. I love the color pattern. So I'm super stoked about that. And that's pretty much it for right now. Sorry it's been so long. I don't know when I'm going to get to another one. The next, uh, this weekend I'm fucking busy. Next weekend I'm busy. And like, like I said, if I can just get my ass in here and uh you know take care of this shit i'll try to do one next wednesday if i can but because i'll probably have some more stories to tell but who knows we'll see how it goes um yeah so i guess thanks for watching please like subscribe comment follow me on patreon okay i don't actually have a patreon i'm just fucking with you this is just the shit i hear on all the other youtube channels um like I said, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Please fucking comment. Give me some ideas of what you want me to talk about. Because it's like, if I had more fucking ideas of what to talk about, I'd fucking go off on that shit. <clears throat> I'm choking over here. More whiskey. And that way I can get into the shit that you guys are interested in. What the fuck is on my mouse pad? Somebody jizz on this shit? Oh my god, there's like this crusty crap on here. Check it out. 
first off, that is the coolest mouse pad ever. It's a little fucking rug. See that like white crusty shit? It's like jizz. Anyway, whatever. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Fucking bye. <laughs> I don't know what else to say.